Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Sham Yahweh Jai, Baha Sham Rachakwadash. Double honors to the others and the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught us his 100% truth, because she and Mess is the only one with the 100% truth. Much peace and blessings to the hopeful elect out there pushing out this word with all truth and sincerity. Shalom. This is a, a quick hit. All right. And this article reads, Electoral College makes it official. Biden won. Trump lost. Biden says democracy prevailed under relentless attack from Trump. U.S. institutions bend but don't break. All right. Democracy prevailed. And it reads, the U.S. Electoral College has formally confirmed that Joe Biden will be the nation's next president, giving giving him a solid electoral majority of 206 votes to affirm his victory in last month's election. All right. And you have this beef for a few months, all right, since like September or, that, or November, I forget. You know the, the the election night, and they 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 stated that Biden won, and then weeks later Trump was like, "No, the 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 votes are all messed up." Well, and then he also said that he is president. All right, well that's off, man, because 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 of what it says in Revelation thirteen. All right, verse verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake of a dragon. All right, man. It's talking about, about America, man. And he had two horns like a lamb, man. Yeah, those two horns. Man. Horn means power, all right? And... There's those two horns, man. Those are those are democracy and republicanism. All right. So, for example, all right, we've seen so far how how President Bush was a Republican, right? Then he lost to a to a Democrat. All right, to a Democratic president. But this, but this, in this case, President Obama, all right, served a a a a. Eight year term, man. All right, he served four years, and the next election he won. Uh, that's bound to happen sometimes. All right, but then he lost. No, so lucky he he didn't lose. All right, and and then it was between Trump and Hillary. All right, Hillary, and Hillary Hillary was about to win. Right, she had the most votes. Trump was about to lose, and then they have this this crazy conspiracy theory that. These Russian hackers, all right, hacked this so that Trump could win, which is not true, man, because, because, all right, the president, the president, if you're a Republican, you're going to be, Repo you're going to be a president for, for a certain time, then it's going to be a Democrat, then it's going to be a Republican, and Democrats with the ongoing pattern of Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, because Hillary was going to, Hillary was going to win, but Trump won instead, all right? And now Biden, all right, see, it, it's just Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, all right, like a lamb, yeah, that, that lamb is America, man, because for years, like the other apostle, to, other apostle to our said, they've been telling the people that we, that, that, that they love them and they want them to come to the U.S., all right, and he's speaking the dragon because ultimately these days right now, you know he's showing his horns. All right, and I want to give out another, another scripture. All right, this is the book of Sirach, chapter twelve, verse eleven. Though he humbled himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. All right, who was I talking about? You know, Esau, man. All right, Esau's ultimately letting, showing those horns, man. He, he's letting loose. He's, he's showing his wickedness, all right? 
although he tries to humble down with with all the the stuff that's going on, saying those are just theories, all right, about the magazine, all right, all right, and then they they make up they make up excuses, all right, and you got Jake out there, you know they're starting to wake up to the truth, of some of them, all right, to what Esau's doing. And then they make it obvious and make a big point out of it on social media. And then Esau get, get, gets all pissed and tries to make an make excuse. Though he humbled himself. All right. And go crouching. All right. Yeah, you got to take good heed. He mean to, 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 to check yourself, man. And check out what's he doing. And beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him. As if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away, man. And, you know, pursuing this, I want to give out another scripture. All right, so Rock chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Yeah, so you got you can't trust him, man. You gotta be aware of him. All right, there's a there's actually a lot of scriptures pursuing of this. Anyways, I wanna give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Rachakwadash, the warner to the others and apostles at Great Millstone, who taught us this one hundred percent truth. Much peace and blessings to the whole elect out there pushing out this word with thought, truth and sincerity. Shalom.